Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity playthrough. Last time, we completed the main story. And it was very emotional for me. It was very good. And with all, as with all Mystery Dungeon games, there should be a post-game. Chat has informed me in past streams that the post-game should take roughly two, one or two streams, so we'll have to see what it's like. <laughs> and uh, also of last time, unlike every other Mystery Dungeon game where the, the human hero returned like in a post credit sequence, this time there was not. <laughs> so... We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see if they actually commit. But yeah, let us see what is in store for us now. See. Okay, didn't expect to see this. I still sometimes see it. At night, this scene still sometimes appears in my dreams. And every time it does, I peek into that pool. Every time I am reminded that I can't go back. It's just as I suspected. I'll never return there. I'll never again return to the Pokemon world where everyone is. Where Locke is. Well, that's depressing. <laughs> We're just jumping right in. It's just like, oh, yeah, the human hero is living their life in the human world, having longing dreams of seeing the pool that they fell into, becoming a Pokemon and falling through the sky. Hyniana, I'm going to randomly leave at some point in this stream, and I might also miss Wednesday. Well, that's perfectly fine. I'm just happy that you join me however much you can today, whenever you can. Time has moved on since the bitter cold was destroyed, and the peaceful days have continued here in our world. This is such good music. The Pokemon in Post Town and in Paradise are the same as ever. Their smiles, their kindness. Nothing seems to have changed. Locke, don't you promise not to forget me. <laughs> Please. I guess I haven't really changed either. I have a good time with everyone here in Paradise. But every now and then, the ver this vision strikes me. And I remember Neon. He is breaking fate to remember. And when I remember, it sometimes make, makes me feel sad. I really like that shot of the sky and the clouds. Turns to the... <laughs> keep... Because they intentionally set these beds out. So he intentionally set the bed there, just to remember. The same old scenes, the unchanging flow of time. Today will be another day of peace in Post Town. Every day passes like this, with nothing ever happening. But is it... it but it is really only now, after the battle with the bitter cold, that I can feel. Oh! So this is what peace is. Hydrogen still seems still seems shocked, to be honest. When Neon returned to the human world, we were all supposed to have lost all memories that Neon was once here with us. Apparently it's some sort of law, a fundamental truth of nature. But we all went right on remembering Neon. No, it really is unbelievable, you know. Your feelings for Neon somehow allowed you all to retain your memories. 
even in defiance of the laws of nature. And yet it doesn't seem to be creating any distortion or upsetting nature's of balance. What if you, motherfucker, what if you were wrong and I could have stayed, you bitch? Is this not a sign that you were more likely wrong instead, you three-headed fuck? This is really just unbelievably amazing. Although it does kind of heighten the tragedy that we didn't get to say goodbye. I still have no idea what you're talking about, Hydragon. But, well... I know what you mean. Neon saved us. Neon is truly the rescuer of our entire world. It simply wouldn't do to forget someone to whom we owe so much. Right. We can't go forgetting something like that. The Pokemon of Post Town still talk about Neon every day. They haven't forgotten how thankful they were. Everyone loved Neon. Of course, the same is true for the Pokemon in Paradise, too. And thus, the unchanging days continue on around me. Oh, well, I may have said unchanging, but... I suppose there have been some changes. Don't say you replaced me. Keldeo and Hydrogen have both joined the True Hope. What? Keldeo and Hydrogen? You want to be part of our team? Yeah. I've been thinking a lot about my options since I came here, but... Well, Vrizian is here, and I think making Paradise seems pretty fun, too. Then, when I brought it up with Hydrogen yesterday... Ah, uh, that sounds good. Maybe I should join, too. And that's what I thought, anyway. So, we decided to come to you together and ask if we could join you. What do you think? Will you let us be a part of your team? Wait up. Never mind Keldeo, but... Hydrogen? Can you even do that? You're the voice of life, right? It's fine. After all, I really like this place. I love Paradise. And I love Post Town. And I love the Signora's cooking. All together, I just love everything here. <laughs> what did I miss? Not much. We just got here. <laughs> Basically, we're just going through the opening of... Well, everybody remembers Snivy Neon. They didn't forget. Huzzah! And apparently these two want to join. Besides, I think I can stay in this form for a while yet. So I hope you'll let me join you. Psst, I wonder what he means when he says he thinks he can stay like that. Shh, don't ask, Espeon. Just don't ask. It's just a feeling, but I don't think any good will come... Any good will come from asking. And then we'd probably be stuck listening to another of his endless rambles. Well, at any rate... I, for one, would be very happy to welcome you both to the team. What about the rest of you? Sure. Of course we'd be happy to have you. I'd more than welcome you. Having the two of you be on our team ought to make us stronger anyway. <laughs> That's probably true enough. So, Locke, what do you think? Um, what is it, Locke? Ah, sorry. I was just zoning out. Of course, I'd love to have them both. <laughs> Great. Then we're all decided. Keldeo, Hydrogen. Oh, Keldeo, Hydrogen, thanks. As of today, you are both officially part of the team. Welcome and remember to do your best. Yeah, we will. We won't let you down. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, Neon. I'm only 10 minutes behind, so I'll just start with two times speed. See you in a few. <laughs> That's one way of doing it. All right. Then everybody, let's give it our all again today. Yeah! I do kind of like that Locke kind of froze up for a moment. Just like... Because, like, first of all, he's not used to making these decisions. Everybody to went to me. Advice Bulletin. From this point onward, you will not play as Neon. Instead, you will take the role of Locke when you play. Through Locke's eyes, you'll discover how your story concludes. Harsh. I like to imagine that that is Snivy Neon's power band. 
And he's keep he decides to wear it. Oh, lock. Do your best with your requests, hmm? And we're all, we're alone. Nobody else is here. We don't have a, a dedicated partner. Like, a part of me was afraid that the game would be very, very mean. And like... Actually have them forget. <laughs> well, Neon is gone. Reduced to atoms. Not really reduced to atoms. Unless you... Well, I guess technically. Hydrogen is way over-leveled for me. We're not gonna take him. You know what? Let's take... Uh, well, even Keldeo's kind of over-leveled. How, how the hell did you get caught? Hmm. We'll have the classic duo come with us. Oh, well, actually, I can take four. I can take three, because... I can take three, because... We are alone. We do not have friend. I forgot that I named you Adorabat. Come on, Hydrogen. You'll also join the team, I guess. Because I forgot. Alone. <laughs> Neon's name is darker? I think it's because of, uh, like, the system... Oh yeah, like, oh no, when we're in here, <laughs> am I still in there? I didn't notice, I want to see now. Because I wasn't paying attention. That is darkly hilarious. That in a way, they're like, we can't take Neon off the register. They're our friend. <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> Neon is dead. How will this affect Neon EV and Zoroa e Neon? Well, technically, it's Umbreon Neon now. They, we evolved near the end, I believe. Do, 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 do. And we'll need a few. Let's see. Another power band, and then... A special band. Oh, and we have no treasure boxes because uh, <laughs> our Zora was Selene smashed them all up. I love the music that's playing. Ah, lock! Spin it! Spin the V wheel! But it's Dragon Wave Day. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do it. It's Dragon Wave, and I'm Dragon now. I do still think of Neon sometimes. I'm only standing here today thanks to you and Neon. How could I forget? That is very sweet. Also, we haven't done, like, building building in a while. Oh, we can go build, uh, oodles of orbs. If we wanted. Just realized the, gr the, gl the, the grass dojo's kind of not all it's cracked up to be anymore. I'm totally relieved that stupid Neon is gone, all right. Deserved it. <laughs> Whatever, loser. <laughs> Still trying to be the big man. Well, I guess we can go train at the... Check our Oren berries. Orenberry Field. Go train at the Dragon Dojo. Oh yeah, for the love of God, learn Dragon Dance? I don't think I know how to get Dragon Dance. Maybe we can go check out the guy, because I don't think... Did I not learn Dragon Dance? I don't think it was ever a move that I could, like, actually learn. Now I'll have to get used to being lock. Uh, definitely dual chop since it's the most along. 
Axu does not get any range, and Dragon Dance gives you a move speed buff that basically lets you use your one range moves as range attacks. Ooh. You can also use Dragon Dance four times in one turn, plus an extra attack. Neat. <laughs> to be fair, Snivy Neon didn't have range either. Because I thought Dragon Dance, or what was that Dragon Breath that was like... Da da da. Like, what moves would I want to pass up on anyway? I guess Slash, maybe? But it is, hmm. Then again, not that many things like Resist Dragon, I don't think. Let's see. This is Scraggy Savvy Moves, yo! You're in the right place if you want to get your moves on, so hurry up! So which one of you twerps is gonna remember a move? Which move do you want to remember? Let's see. Uh, Dragon Dance. It boosts your attack and travel speed. That's probably why I never got it, because I don't like buffs. Hmm, but travel speed. That would also mean that I would outrun my allies, though. But I guess I could help me maneuver a bit. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to remember. <laughs> you serious, yo? You know too many moves already. Gotta forget one. Let's see. Now, what do we want? Dragon Claw and Dual Chop. Definitely not getting rid of Dual Chop. Assurance is there for, like, type coverage. So, yeah, I guess I'll get rid of Slash. Even if it pains me. But at recommendation, why not get a buff? Hey, then watch this! I'm gonna make you wish you never learned that move! Forgetting, forgetting, remember combo, yo! How'd you like that? Lock forgot Slash, and remember Dragon Dance at the same time. Oh yeah, and uh, we'll go ahead and go and uh, build oodles of orbs. Because even though our friend is gone, we can still continue to build. Build up our paradise. I want to make a noodles of orbs. I'm sure Neon would have loved it. All right, come on, you two slackers. Yes, boss. Through the power of dance, they lay down pots in a carpet. Maybe they get more, like, amazing as I level them up, but I don't have, like, uh, the necessary advanced materials. We built so many facilities that it looks like we're gonna run out of space. We better prepare some new land. All right, I feel like I could do some real preparing now. Oh, I can prepare a new type of land. And my clearance skill has gone up. I think I've come up with something new. Yeah, that's right, I can prepare land to be rough rockery now. Wanna try? Interesting. And there's more. My skills as a carpenter have gone up again. Now I can tear down the facilities that we built before. If you feel like removing something and starting fresh, let me know. <laughs> he has learned how to destroy. Dragon Dance is also excellent for boss battles, and you can one-shot cure him with just Dragon Dance and Dual Chop. <laughs> Although, I don't think I need to get even more overpowered, even though I already got Dragon Dance, because... I didn't even need Reviva Seeds against the bit of cold. Well, let's see, what kind of orbs do you have, my dear boy? A Spurn Orb. <laughs> Warps all enemies in the room to somewhere else. So if you want to be like, be gone, asshole monster house. Cuts all enemies in the room to 1 HP, but it hurts you too. <whistles> that could also be nice for Monster House. <laughs> like, I go in, 2 Edge Orb, I revive through Reviver Seed and just proceed to Mop House. Explores the Sky would be odd if the hero was gone. <laughs> to be fair, they could have done the post-game of Explorers kind of like that. The first half of the Explorer's postgame could have been just Silas, the Explorer's partner, going about on adventures, maybe before he uh, 
ends the day, he goes about talking to people about the hero and what happened at Temporal T Tower. Could be cool. Uh, do we have uh, rough rockery? No, we need stone and rich soil. Well, let's head to head to post town and see what people are like. You can now go to Windy Shoreline. Oh, hey, these guys are alive. I wonder what Neon is up to right now. <laughs> Wondering what we're up to right now, actually. Oh, luck, ain't it? Thanks. The world's saved because of you guys. Saved because of paradise. Thanks so much. If it weren't for you all, I don't know what would have happened. Ah, uh, the end of the world, probably. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, Locke, good morning. We're pedaling as fast as we can pedal again today. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba. I think I already know Dragon Claw. I do miss the ability to, like, look at a TM, know who can learn it, and, like, know the actual stats of a move before goodbye. Then again, ice moves aren't all that good anyway. Tis fairly lonely, isn't it? It is. Och, but who am I to complain? Locke's surely the loneliest of us all. I cannot be moping around like this. Yeah, talk to me like I'm not even there. Such a good one, Neon. Even now, I still find myself thinking of Neon. Which, according to Hydragon, is apparently really impressive. Neon, huh? That Pokemon was alright. Lost another good Pokemon we did. Ah, but still it wasn't the big sleep or nothing. But still, Neon's lost to us. Neon is an awesome adventurer, so I'm not worried about a thing. It's all thanks to you, Bunch, that the world was saved. Great job! We really owe you one. The truth is, while you guys were off at the Glacier Palace place, I was planning to launch my own sort of attack, but I couldn't do a thing! Uh, so frustrated, so mad. I'll use that anger. I'll use it to bust these boxes. Unfortunately, I do not have any boxes. <laughs> hey, Neon, hello, hello. Yep, uh, Darkrai would probably torment the partner with their dead friend, though. Depends on when things happen, because... Because there was, like, a period of months implied between the partner character of Explorers getting, going back to Treasure Town and then going down to the beach for the first time in forever. <laughs> Big sleep reference to Darkrai's Explorers scheme. Good morning. Yes, Locke. I'm grateful to have you all here again today. You all, you say, when it is me alone. I must now take on the role of Locke. Neon, huh? We didn't talk all that much. But I could tell that was a Pokemon for good heart. Or human, whatever. I suppose Neon must be working hard over in that other world. We were just talking about Neon, and wondering where Neon might be now. In their dreams, looking down, it's like, God damn it, this frickin' puddle won't let me go back home! I'm that foolish Neon. I sure hope he still remembers us from time to time, too. That's the first time they gendered the main character. Which is actually interesting. Because while they have gendered, like, the partner character, Locke a lot throughout the game, it's kind of funny have actually gendered the player character for the first time, I think. Once again, lament that, like, the international versions of this game took out the ability to select the genders of the partner and hero, I believe. In the Japanese version you can, but not this one. Neon, what was life in the human world? I'm cur really curious about it. Are you doing all right? I'm sure you must be lonely on your own now, but try to keep your chin up. Oh, that reminds me. A letter came for you. Here you go. Swana showed Locke a letter. This is what the letter said. Do you remember me? My name is Dwebble. I do beg your pardon if you don't remember me. I do remember you. Goodness me. I left a previous letter for you with the Signora. 
But in case you never saw it, oh goodness, that would just be... Well, in any case, <clears throat> please do read this letter, won't you? In my last letter, I said I was setting out on a journey to find a new home. At last, it's happened. After goodness knows how long, this journey has granted me a new home. Oh, sweet relief. A home for Dwibble at last. Please do read until the end, won't you? I found that home I had been searching for. And it was a far more glorious home than any I'd had before, goodness me. It's the sweetest and most perfect home you've ever seen. I knew that I could proudly face you and your colleagues, Leon, in such a home. And so I shall return to Post Town. My goodness, I heard that you went to the Great Glacier after all. Was your adventure successful? When next we meet, I hope you'll tell me tales of your adventures. Goodness, yes. Until we meet again. Perfectly encased Dwebble. Pain. They don't even know the poor boy. Hmm, from this letter it seems that Dwebble didn't hear all the fuss about the bitter cold. And that he's forgotten Neon, too. I see. Well, Dwebble has been away from Post Town for a long time. How could he have known that Neon was going to disappear? So he wouldn't have even tried to remember, but he did say my name. That's weird. He just doesn't know that I disappeared. To remember Neon like we all resolved to. He must have forgotten everything. It's sad, isn't it? Is that what is that what's going to happen? Are they like uh I think cuz like I uh, unless I'm dumb the letter did mention me specifically Neon and so they're assuming that because he's been gone for so long and that letter was probably only sent after like the original Glacier Palace adventure and uh, the word got to him is Dwebble going to come back Perfectly remembering me. And everybody's gonna go is like, wait a minute, how do you remember? Is this like, how could I ever forget? Everybody turns to Hydra Gun and is like, wait, I mean, everyone was supposed to forget. What's going on? And it's like, you fuck, there was no distortion. Were you listening to Dark Cry from that one continent, Hydra Gun? It, it, it's sad, isn't it? But we can't do anything about it now. I'll keep this letter for you. Let me know if you want to read it again. I want to read it again. I want to make sure that he actually is remembering. Do you remember me? My name is Dwebble. Begging your pardon in case you don't remember me. Goodness me. Well, no matter, no matter. But please do read my letter, won't you? Oh my goodness, my greatest fear has come to pass. After so long, my precious home is... Oh wait, no. Uh, this is the, uh, the original one. So we'll have to <laughs> hold bear through it. I forgot to select the, the bottom one. I'm a fool. I was just smashing on through and I selected the original one. It's super cool that they do let you like select the original one to read. The second letter. Do you remember me? My name is Dwebble. I do beg your pardon. Blah blah blah. I love the previous letter. We did indeed read it. Again indeed. Please do read that letter, won't you? Blah blah blah. blah. Found a new home. Home for Dwebble at last. Our glorious home. Yeah, you and your colleagues, Neon. So, they are just thinking that he might, that Dwebble would have just forgotten because he didn't wasn't around here to constantly interact with Neon, Neon me. I think I'll be staying here a while. I was locked up in that little tower for an awfully long time. I'm still not all the way back to my old form, but I already feel a lot better. So it's just kind of funny. They're like, oh my god, he's probably forgotten. He's gonna come here. Just everything. Palkia, did you forget that I said that the spatial distortion caused by human turns Pokemon is small? That would be hilarious. That would be a hilarious callback. Hey, tell us the story again, will you? About the time that Neon destroyed the bit of cold. I love hearing it again and again. Dang it, I want to select your friend. But it would be hilarious if Dwebble just comes on through perfectly remembering, and it's revealed that Hydrogen was an idiot. I'm going to become a great adventurer like Neon. Just you wait and see. It seems that things nearly fell apart this time, but I feel as if it's only thanks to those struggles and pains that our power could become so amazing when we all stood together at once. I hope we will all continue to treasure this experience in the future. It's another golden and- GOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO
glorious day, is it not? <laughs> he doesn't have much to say. Because I do not have much to impart, and you're a fighter, me and Fu, so I don't have anything to do with you. Dwobble better have a new sprite for the new rock. Considering that they're like... He could evolve. Maybe he evolved with the new rock. And so that will play into it. Locke, let's get out here. Uh, let's get out there. Let's do some requests and help Paradise grow bigger. We've got more allies on our side now, so let's get out there and do this. Look, good luck. Good luck, Locke. Oh, hey, you are alive. One of my, like, fears was that Mienfu was going to turn out to be a human, and that's why, after we saw the light, Mienfu wasn't around town all that much. And I wondered if, like, Mienfu was just forgotten, and if that was, like, foreshadowing. Nope, I was just paranoid. I cannot forget Neon myself. Boy, I really do love relaxing up on this hill, though. Ah... A net gain on allies. <laughs> Down one Snivy, got a, a pseudo-legendary, and an actual legendary. That's actually kind of funny. Well, I guess we just need rich soil for something. Adventure hint! A Mysteriosity rating has appeared on all dungeons and request board jobs. Even more mysterious adventures full of fun and excitement await you. There are five levels of Mysteriosity. They range from one to five. The higher the level, the more events will occur. What does that even mean? Help Jolteon. Did I lose my... Did I lose my memory? Huh. From Smoking Mountain. But apparently th that is fuck off hard. Jesus. <laughs> I don't even think that I'm okay. Difficulty jump. Ah, uh, yes, the incredibly fun and great mechanic at the very end of the game. Ouch. Let's see. Hmm. I'm curious to... Let's see if we can find a three. Like, here's a four-star three. In Aka Quarry. Rescue Fungus, so it shouldn't be that hard. So we'll use this as a, a measure to see how hard this is. <laughs> mythical. Keldeo is mythical, meaning that in the mainline games, it's, uh, it is only obtainable via event. Huh, weird. Ah, legendary, mythical, they're all the same. <laughs> Look at the difficulty rating, all those stars. Yeah, because like, ooh, I'm going to go do a five. Saw that there's a ton of red stars. Jesus! Well, if that's the case, uh, I'm going to bring in, uh, ba -ba -ba. let's see. I guess a few slumber orbs. And I think that should, maybe a few, uh, extra reviver seeds just to be safe. One more. Do you want to depart? Sure. Mysteriosity 3. Oh, hey, it's this song! So... Well, that's why. For a moment, it's like, where the fuck did they all go? Power band for you. Power band for you. And special band for Espeon. Dual chat! And instant level for my allies. Because we haven't done so of them in a while. Moonlight. Restores the HP of you and your allies. It's more effective when it's sunny. Hmm. I guess I could replace Confuse Ray with that. Yeah, it'll be a nice thing to have. It's a status move for a status move, so why not? Makes an uh, unable to move for a while. Don't really care. 
I have orbs to stop people from moving if I want that. I love this music. Last resort. The more moves of zero power points you have, the more powerful this move gets. Could be nice, but very situational and only if, like, I was controlling Umbreon. So, not a thing for now. And what about you, Espeon? What be your moves you want to learn now? You want to learn Morning Sun, restores the HP of you and your allies. Maybe I should grab that as well. Hmm. Because Quick Attack is nice, especially with it being super leveled up. Confusion is nice, because type Future Sight can be good against... Mm. So, yeah, we already have one on M uh, Umbreon. And we don't want uh, you to lose your, your abilities. Now, if you got a better move, like Psychic, could lower an enemy's special defense. Let's see. Confusion or Psybeam. Psybeam's good because it's a uh, ba ba ba. Huh. The problem is, like, then again, you have a special thing. Hmm. Because, uh, then again. Confusion is... Eh, with everything, I guess we'll get rid of Confusion with Psychic. Might as well. And then another last resort. No. Kind of uh, disturbing in a way that both of the siblings have that as a move. <laughs> it's like, in desperation. <laughs> kind of creepy. Oh, hey, I believe that you're dragon, right? Get out of here. I'm the dragon. Ba, 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 ba. A mysterious distortion appears in the dungeon. Enemies have slowed down. So this is what this does. Nobody can restore HP. All right. Uh. I guess assurance. Assurance. Well, that's just mean. Da -da -da -da. So if we wanted to move out... Unless that's for, like, the entire dungeon. Oh, Jesus. If that's for the entire dungeon. So we should probably make a beeline for the exit to tell and see what the hell. Because that could just be for the entire dungeon and not just floor. Nice that enemies are slowed, so... Oh yeah, I also forgot. Dragon Dance. I wonder if that's, like, uh, for the entire floor. But it does mean I have to avoid those. This is one of the more basic things that happens on Low Mystery, but higher ones, it can just straight up pull shenanigans. Well, that's evil. A strange power made you wander into a mysterious place? In dungeon with a degree of mysteriosity, you'll sometimes find yourself wandering into strange and mysterious places. You should be able to find your way out eventually. Select Pokemon who can appear from the others list to view what Pokemon in the area can join your team. There might even be some Pokemon who can join your team only from inside a strange and mysterious place. And it appears that that is a... Huh. Polyper, Salamence, Whimsicott, and Archeops. Huh. All 
All right, at least they're all weak. Definitely interesting look to this place. All right, a, a ton of money. That's basically a reviver seed. Because I could see the movement speed being temporary, but the attack bonus being uh, permanent for the floor. Aha, you fool. Dragon Claw. So yeah, three star doesn't seem that scary. It's the Mysteriosity that scares me more than anything. <laughs> Let's see. Honestly, if the player character disappeared permanently in Sky, Darkrai would have probably been really cruel to the partner. Like, honestly? That might actually have been kind of cool in a way. Like, uh... What if, uh... In, uh, Sky... The, the hero didn't return until Darkrai's plot was kicking off. And, uh, in fear of, like, uh, the Explorers of Sky Partner stopping them, I just want to check and see. Okay, so I can Dragon Dance at the start of a floor to raise my attack, at the very least. Just wanted to have that squared away. But yeah, back to thought. Like, uh... There is potential for a very good moment in the world where... Uh, the hero part... Like, the hero was, uh... Gone during Darkrai's plot still. And only returns... To, like, shake the partner out of the funk. It was like, no, you deserve to live kind of moment. I think that would be cool. There's a potential cool thing. <laughs> Another gold ribbon. Yep. But it would be kind of dark to, like... Instead of Cresselia telling the partner you should disappear now, Darkrai would appear as the hero. And uh, that would be very dark. Alright, what move can we learn? Dragon Pulse! Special cuts corners and it's front. Uh, the pulse is no longer AoE. A dragon pulse, though, has a high chance of missing, but so did Dragon Claw. But cuts corners, though. But hmm. plus, it's special. Everything else is physical, so I think I won't get Dragon Pulse. I can always remember it later. Plus, I have a power band. The music in here is very neat. I wonder if I can still complete my... my request. That'd be kind of funny. Through the power of Mysteriosity, you cannot complete the job you set out to do. We come back to Paradise, Girder's like, Well, there was a Mysteriosity I couldn't build today. Dragon Claw. Hmm, that segment with the bells kind of reminds me of like a clock, like a grandfather clock bell. <laughs> the dungeon should spit you out eventually. But yeah, it definitely seems like we should be able to take on a bit better like difficulties it's gonna be mysteriosity that's hard for us I think I also love how this place looks kind of like the Magnate dungeons you had to go through for the main story hmm 
this place isn't really all that much like a, a Magna Gate dungeon for me. My Magna Gate dungeons were more like uh, caves. Would be interesting if the Magna Gate dungeons like were randomized. The one downside to this place being so good is that I have trouble seeing the goddamn sparklings and another golden. We're we're never gonna have to worry about money again. God, now I'm just imagining like uh, Locke going, "Man, Neon would have loved this place." Well, that's not cool at all. Skill chop! I'm gonna chop off your dick. That is the power of the dragon. Confagrius would have loved this place. And that is why we're not gonna tell him how we got here. He can never know. Imagine if this place was actually gold, unless it is already gold. I want to take it all. Hey, Girder, we want you to go and basically excavate this entire dungeon. I probably should have put money away. I think I'm wasting money. I didn't expect to get this much money from this hell place. Plus, it, I think I've heard this song before. Wasn't it in, like, the... The Baba Palace? Near the end? Oh, hey, Sparkly. I see you. And another gold ribbon! I'll pay for them. You've returned to the original dungeon. There we are. The sad thing is, it cut out all the cool music from Ocker. Ocker Valley has such cool music. With that, like, harpsichord and the, the nice, the nice parts. It's just like, and now we banish you to Gold Palace. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Never watched that show. Assurance. How dare you. Assurance. Dragon Dance. If you're max at money, uh, any money you collect is vaporized. I can't believe the happy organization is taxing me in my dungeons. Assurance! Love this song. I need to go and find the soundtrack for this game and select all my favorite songs. Maybe make a playlist so that, like, uh, my intermission and uh, uh, soon starting screens can have, like, a rolling selection of songs play. And go chat. Then, like in the future, if I ever do lots of streaming with more intermissions, my intermissions can be more varied. Hey, uh, Sparkly. Damn it. Well, you're dead either way. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Remember when I was scared of those guys? At least internally. Not as scared as I was against the Adino. The Adino are terrifying. <laughs> you know what? That is a good excuse for uh, that happening in all the PMD games. I assume, like, the happy organization taxing us, I feel. Or maybe it was something else that I said. I say a lot of things, and then my brain just... Gah! Forgets it. Brain just runs at a million miles per hour. 
But it does seem like, uh, the Mysteriosity events only happen, like, seemi seemingly randomly, like, on the first floor, enemies were slow and nobody could heal, but then on the next floor that went away, and we got thrown to another dungeon entirely. Like, another thing about, like, the, uh, organization taxing, maybe for when you're, like, knocked out, they have to send in a rescue crew to get you out alive. And the reason why you lose some of your items and money is because they're like, well, this is to pay for us uh, getting you out of there. Assurance! No. Dwagon Dance! How dare you put my attack back to normal. Dual Chop! Sai damn it. I'm confused. Kill. Haha. <laughs> Intimidated, idiot. Ah, damn it. Intimidation is here for murder. Ah, damn it. At least you didn't do flatter again. Wait, why are you running away now, Hydrogen? Of course he's going to use his fly. Hydrogen, why? Oh, well, he's just going to go in a circle, I guess. I guess. This isn't like our floor. I think it was like eight, so we can move on. You've arrived at the floor where Fungus is. Turns. I love the music in this game. Also, I have an idea for the game that we are going to play after I beat the post game. I shall give you a hint to ponder what it could be. It is not a Pokemon game that we're gonna play as part of, like, uh, our little break between Mystery Dungeon games. Because I also need a little bit longer of a break between Pokemon games, because I like them, but uh, they can be a bit repetitive. So I selected something else. Something that I've been meaning to get to for a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna say I much prefer exp uh, Explorers of Time and Darkness taking all of your money if you faint instead of Sky's Half. Considering that I never fainted all that much, I don't think. I don't really have much of a... Like... Thing to say on it. Like, I can understand it from a like, quality of life to a degree, you don't want to punish people who are already down. So if, like, a player faints in a dungeon, they're not going to get better if you take away all of their money. Sure, punish them for failing, but don't, like, utterly annihilate them. Especially considering things that help the player, like vitamins, can be found in uh, dungeons through the Kecleon shops. So you don't want to, like, Deny the player entirely. It's a very tricky thing balancing fail states. The game will warn you if you have a job on the floor. Yeah, I just like, I just forgot if I got a warning or not because my memory is blur. And hello, hello. We are on our first adventure since the player character 
flew off into the sky. And we're beginning the post game. Hello, little guy. So, yeah. Thank you for saving me. I believe that was a three star difficulty. It was a three mysteriosity at the very least. <laughs> Hydrogen glows purple when he's poisoned. Thank you for saving Fungus for me. I'll give you this as a reward. I received 450 Pokey. And Unbreakable Rock. And Grass Pigment. And Soil Pigment. And two of... That's, that's definitely going to rank me up. Paradise Rank has reached Platinum. Hey, that's the other Pokemon game I played recently. What's more, you received a prize for raising the rank. And Snivy Neon isn't even here. Four star free mysteriosity. Thank you for having a better memory than me. I can build a heal field. You can build a new facility, Violent Field. Ah, more, yeah, seeds. Elite Boutique. All right. Dark Dojo. Psychic Dojo. And a Joy Seed. And an Iron. And a Zinc. And an Electric Gift. And Gold Bars. Oh, now we're gonna be alone. We get to be alone. People are partying, but what about me? <laughs> Delicious! The food here really is the best, you know. Well, you sure can put it away. I'm getting real confused, you know, about what the voice of life really is. Hey, Hydrogen, you're the one who summoned Neon to this world, aren't you? from the human world. That's right. I'd love to hear more about that. Oh, good one, Dunsparce. I want to hear that too. Fine by me. Then let me tell you how it happened. Let's see. It all began when... And we don't get to hear it. Damn it. Several hours later. Several hours. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And so, that's basically how it happened. Now that brings us up to the main point. Blah, 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 blah. How long is he gonna go on like this? He hasn't even got to the part of the story where Neon comes in. Uh, we should never have asked. Blah, 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 Ooh, time with Keldeo. I do enjoy that little scene. I do like it. More character moments is nice. Here you are. Here you are. Verizian? What do you think? It's a nice view, isn't it? Is it? It's so dark now that I can't really see a thing. But even if it's dark out... The wind feels so good on my face. I'm not scared of this dark. I feel at peace. Especially now. I know what you mean. It really does feel peaceful here. Hey, Keldeo? Yeah? What made you think of wanting to join the True Hope? I thought you were the type to avoid crowds or being part of a group. Oh, God. <laughs> He's a poor man. The poor man has anxiety. That and I figured you'd want to set off on another journey sooner or later. Yeah, well, I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do from now on. And in the end, I decided to stay here. For one thing, you're here. And... And? I guess it might be because of Locke. Locke? Yeah. You remember what happened at the Glacier Palace, Verizian? They're at the Glacier Palace. When everyone was fighting against Muna's gang. Yes, I remember that battle. In the end, it was Muna who saved the day. She was the one who saved Locke and Neon. At the time, Muna and her friends were all prepared to disappear together. They had all lost faith in the world. Muna and her friends thought that there was no way the world would get better. But feeling like that, like nothing's ever going to get better in this world, 
They're not the only ones who feel like that. We've all probably felt that way. Feeling completely disheartened, feeling that the world is stuck in a dead end. Nearly everyone gets those feelings inside. It's not easy to help someone climb out of that kind of despair. But back then, Locke turned to Muna in her despair about the future. And this is what he said. I know that the world may be rotten right now, but if we can make this a world worth living in again, wouldn't you want to stay here with your friends? A world worth living in? Is such a world even possible? Even if you could save the world now, do you really think such a future could come? It will! I'm gonna make it happen! Locke wasn't done yet. He said that when it comes to making a world worth living in, it might be easier said than done. I'm sure Locke has had his own times of feeling just like Muna. Times when the world felt like a rotten place to be. But he looked at that and thought, well then, I guess I've got to change it. Very good music playing. That's where Locke's dream of building paradise came from. He stepped up and made a commitment to make a better world. When Locke says it, you really feel like it could happen. Strange, huh? But that's the reason I believe in Locke and his dream. His words led me, let me see the, the importance of helping out with that dream of his. Keldio, Verizian, Locke is going to be a great leader someday. Yeah, I know. He's already been a fantastic leader for all of us on the team. In time, I think he's bound to do even greater things. Keldio, I'm glad you feel the same way. I'm glad you respect Locke, too. But recently, Locke has been... Well, really quite down about what happened with Neon. I know. He's obviously been trying hard to act cheerful around everyone, but... The loneliness still manages to peek through somehow. What else could we expect? Neon was his best friend in the whole world. I guess we've just gotta wait till time smooths the raw edge of that pain a little. I suppose you're right. I do worry about him, but I guess we just have to stand back and watch over him. By the way, Verizian? Yes, Keldio? Your best friend in the whole world? That'd be me, right? Nope. What? I'm not? Oh, uh, this can't be true. I've always believed we... <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just teasing. But things like best or second best aren't important when it comes to friends. Our friendship will always be special to me. Really? Of course. <laughs> I only said he wasn't my best friend because his reaction is so funny. We have a long history together, a lot of deep ties. Our friendship is real, and it won't ever change. Th that's right! Thanks, Verizian. No, I'm the one to thank you, Keldio. I'm glad I have you around for the long haul. Let's do our best to build up paradise. Yeah! I'm gonna give it my all! Woohoo! <laughs> Jesus, acrobatic little bastard, aren't you? I gotta see Verizian smile! Just flippin' flippity doo through the air. The next morning, we wake up, we see the empty bed. As we save, Locke just stares at the empty bed. Ba 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 ba. Of course, level up my dual chop, because we're never getting rid of that. <laughs> Extra weird that there's just a dead human behind me. How come he gets to stay here? Oh, that's cruel. The bed's empty. That's what I was saying. And it's shown earlier that they have to set the beds out. 
because there was a moment in the bill in the house where the beds weren't set up, so they have to set them out. <laughs> I can imagine you returning, and Keldeo jumps and impales you. Would be harsh. Welcome to Quagsire Assembly. Uh, we'll probably keep the same team, because we can. And uh, we'll go check out your shop. What do you have to sell? <laughs> Why is Locke always staring at the empty bed whenever he wakes up? PTSD. His friend is gone, and he's sad. Ba -ba. Oh, man, you bastard. Why can't you send it to my box? The box is right there. Motherfucker. First, we're gonna deposit all the items. We're gonna go sell those. I forgot to use the I. Well, we just got them, so I didn't forget to use them. Me dumb. Uh, we're gonna break open that one box. First things first, we'll buy another reviver seed because we can. Then we'll set a bunch of uh, money aside so we can sell our flippin' gold dibbidees. <laughs> also, Keldeo said something about form. Keldeo has two forms. Can he change form? That would be a funny little thing. Maybe a one of part of the post game is getting him to unlock his latent power. All right, I'm gonna sell all of my gold bands to you because I can. Oh wait, no, I can only buy from you. Oh wait, no, I can't sell. I'm an idiot. I am the big old idiot boy. Daniel, I understand why you auto lock on to no, but I am annoyed by your existence. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> anyway, back to Sky One. Darkrai would probably proceed uh, the partner if the hero vanished for good. Yeah, it probably would do just like terrible, terrible things. I think like 4,000 is good to have on hand. I'm off to into another dungeon. Do your best, Locke. Always on the move, me and Pooh. I have a single box. I'm the box buster. It's a pretty box. You can destroy it. Snort that cocaine. Woo! Present right here you go. Motherfucker, I just sold! I just sold them all! They just keep coming back to me! Man, it sure is peaceful, though. It's nice that things are all good now. Tis true that we're all living in peace now, but we cannot be getting too used to it. We'd best be on our guard, eh? That bit of cold fright. To something we foes had brought upon ourselves. I've already clicked it again. But I know that memories fade with time, so while I say that we must not forget that great battle, I know that it would be difficult to keep this feeling alive in the future, yet we must. Seems like a new dungeons keep cropping up since I came here. That reason we can all live in peace like this now is only because everyone, and especially Neon, fought so hard for us. <laughs> At least you get more money, that's true. Another gold ribbon. That's four. Do you all not have books? Ah, uh, you know these Pokemon can't read. Two HMs right on top of each other? How dare you? Rescue Team Neon is frothing at the mouth, coming for your blood. I could imagine an Umbreon charging through. He's like, I've never fought a Kelsey Kecleon until today, but it's gonna happen! Hey, Trubbish. When Neon was here with me, the truth is, I let out gases and smells and all kinds of things. 
But that Neon never once made a fuss at all, Trump Trump. No, Neon didn't care at all. Neon it was a good egg, all right, Trump Trump. Maybe, maybe Neon didn't have a sense of smell. So since we have, like, an overbearing amount of gold all of a sudden... I have 56. So I could get Dragon Tail. Might as well. Because I can, I shall grab it. <laughs> I could imagine, like, Silas going, Neon always wanted to get the save up gold bars to get these TMs. Might as well follow through on that. And when I remember, I can't help feeling how amazing it was that you two got the boss back on his feet. It was thanks to you two, after all. Thanks for getting the old boss back again. Now that I think about it, it feels like I've been staying in this town for ages, you know? When I stopped here during my travels, I just happened to like the place. But after all that drama about the world ending and whatever, I didn't want to leave. Guess I was right from the start. This really is a good town, with good Pokémon. He sure does eat a lot, huh? That crazy Hydrogen. You know, I've been thinking about it and maybe... Maybe he isn't the voice of life at all, but just the sound of all the stomachs grumbling. <laughs> Gobble, gobble, snuff, snuff, munch, munch. Blum, 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 blum. Man, you know Signora Swanna's cooking. It's the best. It's only apples. <laughs> Fighting Kecleon is like that one Metal Gear Rising cutscene. Standing here, realize. Again, hilarious that that uh, soundtrack was helmed by like, one of the composers of Toontown Online. And he had never made, like, metal or rock music before. Well, I guess because we can... First, we're gonna save. And then we will learn the TM... Dragon Tail. Oh, I can't learn it? That's mean. Why can't I learn it? Game? What? What do you mean, game? Oh, is it because I already learned Dragon Tail before? What? I want to learn now. Am I a dumb dumb? I'm a super dumb dumb. All those gold bars wasted, aren't I? Nope, Dragon Rage, Fall Swipe, Dragon Pulse. Just for some reason, I guess the game is like, you don't have a big enough tail to learn Dragon... <laughs> dragon Tail. Am I not dragony enough to learn Dragon Tail? That's disappointing. I get... <laughs> would be funny if, like, none of the starters can learn the TMs. And only after they evolve, they can. That would be cruel. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Huh. Oh, hey, a five... Bubbity ba oh, restriction, bring an ice-type Pokemon. Oh, so some of these have... Restrictions on them, huh? Hmm, Windy Shoreline, a rainbow drop. Uh, defeat Imbor. Hmm. Level 22 of Moonlit Forest. Hmm. I just wanted to see if I could, like, get more information on it. Let's see. Is there a rich soil one? in here. Hmm. A five Mysteriosity at... Huh. Well, I guess... Daybreak Ridge. Or we could go for 11 floors. Oh no, I'm done for Freezing Pillar. You know what? 
Let's go for the 11 floor one, because I can. <laughs> That's funny that the dragon tail. The dedicated TM from the gold shop for the dragon starter. The dragon starter can't learn it. By the way, is there a Discord? I do not have uh, a Discord server. Uh, primarily because I am alone in all this venture, and... Like, uh, the, the anxiety of managing a Discord server is just a bit too much for me. Perhaps in the future, but not now. Well, let's see what Five Mysteriosity is like. Alright. Interesting music. I shall Dragon Dance, because I can. Unfreeze. Door chop. You can dodge once. <laughs> that, that horn is amazing. Hmm. A person band, a blast seed, and a citrus. Of course, the one I run into doesn't have any goddamn vitamins. Oh wait, speaking of vitamins... Why is there still a, a thing that's not available? I just realized. I just realized, why is that? Uh, I guess since we're the... We're the main character now, we get all the vitamins. You know, it'd be hilarious if Snivy Neon could learn Dragon Tail. But not the actual Dragon Starter. How dare you mutt slap me. How dare you sand attack me. Go chop! I still murder you. I am more powerful than you. Well, I'm ready for dragon dancing. Come face your fate! And of course you'll fucking freeze, goddammit. I smack you! Why does freeze even a thing if you can't capitalize on it? I think I've ever heard this music before. Either that or my memory's terrible. Another Kecleon, let me guess. Oh, is that just... Watch it be a max elixir. Ah, oh, zinc! I shall pick up. And we shall... Merchandises? Yeah, wanna buy it? Yes. I become ultimate power. I do all the... <laughs> Neon Snivy leaves. Lock immediately turns to drugs. In the memory of Snivy Neon, I do drugs. And we're back from the confusion. Another Vaporeon. Oh no. We have to be wary. Or else the that pussy might come back. Why are you even here? I can annihilate you super easily. And dual drop to your face. God damn it, double miss. How dare. Mech. 
Ah, there's a detour new you. It's been a bit. I don't really care about the detours, though. And Dragon Dance. I basically just have to waste my speed boost because I don't want to outrun my allies. I don't have a key, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I think I have keys back at Paradise, but... Meh. Oh, some of my chads <laughs> apparently is having a bad day because they failed to f uh, a shiny Giratina. Ow. I myself have never really done shiny hunting, so I cannot even imagine what it'd be like to, like, set out to get a shiny and then accidentally reset. Pain. I almost feel lightheaded thinking about it. I am weirded out by the fact that we're in a five mysteriosity dungeon and nothing mysterious has happened yet. I'm scared. One of these days, something insane is gonna happen. I walk into Mysteri uh, Mysteriosity Dungeon, and Neon is there waiting. Join me in the river! That'd be horrific. is just very interesting. I'm trying to think what to compare it to. You motherfucker die. Die to the power of the 69. All the Vaporeon are out, just out to get some. Now I just thought, imagine trying to, like, shiny hunt in, like, a mystery dungeon game. Because I think in Rescue Team DX they did add shinies. Although I think they shiny lock the player characters. Alright, need to run out of this place as quickly as possible because frickin' hail. Shuxton, hail! Dual chop! I smack you with the power of claw. I already have a drudgeon. Drudge the gun. Get out of here. Well, you're gonna get annihilated. To think that I was mildly scared of Kunkledur before. Ah, oh, mysterious distortion appears. Enemies are weaker than usual. That's nice. You can't use equipment. Well, I only have buffs. Hail prevents. Oh, that's it. Only two. Okay. Enemies are weak as shit, and uh, we, we don't get buffs from our diddly D anymore. Okay. And Hydrogen ran off again. In Rescue Team DX, you can get a shiny Celebi, though, after clearing Purity Forest. That is hilariously evil. Like, genuinely. That is some evil shit.
He's like, yeah, you want a shiny? Fuck you. <laughs> Apparently it's not that hard, but at the same time, it's still a 99 floor dungeon. It's still like a, a slog in its own right. <laughs> Even if it's not difficult. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to use my dragon dance when we run into an enemy. Well, maybe not you. Someone that we actually need to use it on. Then again, I don't think I need to use it on anyone, but still. Way away to the dark. Way away through the dungeon mark. Mysterious distortion appears. All enemies are sleeping. Nobody can restore HP. Well, that's fine for me. Time for assassination plot. You're supposed to be asleep. Die. How dare you wake up. Hm, wake up. Ba -ba 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 put on a little makeup. Ba -ba 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 shake up. Leave the boy alone. I said, leave the boy alone. Assurance. Do a chopper. Imagine if you could dual wield dual uh, dual wield chopper from One Piece. You'll never run out of medicine again. Well, actually, probably should give it to you because what's my special attack? Plus, I don't think I have anything that uses special attack right now, so... Blah. Drugs for the- for the- for the Espeon. Drugs for the Espeon with a fat ass. The music is so nice in this game. Shall move along. Ah, another detour place, so we don't really need to worry much. Because I don't think we can even access it. You dare leer at me? Die! Dragon Dance! And Schmickety Schmack. And through the power of a glittery box, we will kill God. You may yawn, but soon you'll be yawning in death. Doorshop! And now I fall asleep. And then I wake up. And then murder happens. Loud noise, loud noise, loud noise. The enemy is dead. Such is the power of loud noise. Oh, hey, Sparkly. I got an escape orb in my Sparkly. Meow. Why do you always exist in my world? You do not exist anymore in my world. Dual chopper. You dare exist? Die! You cannot incinerate me. I'm too powerful to incinerate. I'm a dragon. 
now, at least because the, the, the grass snake that I was is gone now. The loud noises have returned. You can kill him. Alright, apparently that wasn't part of his stock, so... At least he's not cranky about, like, a seed landing in his place. He's like, oh, fine, that was a, ra a, a, a random Pokemon that you murdered and they dropped a seed, so I guess it doesn't belong to me. Whereas I think in older games, if an item was dropped on the ground, the Kecleon is like, this is mine now. Oh, I didn't look. I was clicking that and thought things were working, but apparently they were not. I was clicking the face enemy right now button. And apparently Locke decided to not face the enemy right now. I guess he was zoning out. Thinking of that grass snake ass that he's missing. Apparently like the one way we didn't go is the way out. Oh no, there's two different ways we could have gone. That we've yet to go. Who dare quick attack me? I quick attack back. Except it's not a quick attack, it's a dragon claw. Which is exactly the same thing. You know? Ma, ma, ma. Ah, where Watchdog is. I've never heard of a Pokemon called Watchdog before. You dare? Die. I dragon dance. And then I dual chop. Gotta do my back and forth dance so my allies don't just randomly walk off. You know? When we're... <laughs> more so than usual at the very least. Oh, watch hog, not watch dog. Well, I guess he's Watchdog the Watchhog now. We'll have him officially renamed by tomorrow morning. No one will know a thing. Hello, Watchdog. We're getting you out of here. Now get out of here. Sure, let's get out of here, too. Bing! Thank you for saving me. I'll give you this as a reward. 400. Vine pigment. Rich soil. Reviver sea, very nice. And 150 paradise points. Oh, hey, more more cutscene. I like that they're quickly going over story stuff. Well, not really story stuff, but like characters are actually talking about things. It's almost like I kind of wanted out of uh, Explorer's post-game a bit, where more characters had more things to say in the post-game. Blue sky. Puffy clouds. It's always the same, and I always feel... Uh, this view is so calming. Ah, perhaps I'll just keep lying here till the sun sets. This is such a tranquil place. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that? What was that feeling just now? Mm -hmm. uh, are you looking at? Are you looking at me? Are you breaking the fourth wall now? Hmm? Uh, found you! So this is where you were! Hello, Hydrogen! 
What were you doing flying around like that? Looking for something in the sky? No, I was wondering about something. What is it you need, Dunsparce? Can I help you with something? Oh, that's right. The truth is, I want to ask you a favor. You want to ask a favor? So, like, is all of this from still, like, Snivy Neon's perspective? Well, I guess human Neon now. As they dream of the, the pool that they first saw when they became a Pokemon. And <laughs> what is going on? The next morning. Ah, uh, Locke's morning PTSD. Was Hydrica not in my character list there? Huh. <laughs> what will happen? What was Dunsparce trying to do? <laughs> yeah, Hydrogen left the party. <sighs> Well, I guess we should keep one escape orb. Just in case of horror. Just in case of whores. Ba, 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 ba. I guess we have one box to break. A new traveling salesman. What's that? What's that? What's your real good feeling, huh? Any day now, I've got a real good feeling about this. What's going on? What are you selling, Kecleon? Oh boy, flash cannon. I think it's a steel move. Well, you know what? I'm gonna buy a reviver seed. More reviver seeds! More surviving for me! Oh, uh, hey, yeah, you did evolve, my boy. The children seem to be whispering about something, but what are they up to? They do so love the little tricks that I never know when to interfere or not. Morning, Neon. What? Um, 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 um? I just patronized the Bucks Buster Shop. Rampardos is truly formidable. There is no treasure box that he cannot break. It seems that he's been worried about some difficulty lately. So the passion with which he destroys those boxes is unrivaled. But I wonder what could be bothering such a formidable Pokemon. I suppose it does not matter. Why'd you call me Neon? I'm Locke. It's been so long, Locke. Do you happen to read my letters? It's me, Dwebble. Oh, there's no place like home, goodness. What? You say that you're Dwebble? That's right, I am goodness me. It's as I said in my letters, isn't it? I've truly found a magnificent home, goodness yes. All the people on the streets are saying that it's like a big castle. Or even a giant tiramisu. tiramisu. What do you think? Wonderful, isn't it? Goodness. No matter how I try to get my head around it, you just don't look like Dwebble. What? That's that's ridiculous. I'm 100% definitely cr crunchy old Dwebble. Goodness sakes. I just uh, got a wonderful new home, am I right? I mean, oh my goodness. Is he somebody pretending? <laughs> That's a bit of a small bug, whoopsies. <laughs> referring to the Mianshu, referring to me as Neon. You'd think that they would uh, be looking for the, uh, like, the name of the, pl like, the character that's currently in control. Rather than just... <laughs> I don't know. The way I would have set it up would have been 
all just a little bit different coding wise. Well, I, I first we'll check out Swana's place. Seems like some pretty fierce dungeons keep cropping up. I don't want to talk to Pans here. Nobody likes you. No matter how much I train, the instant that I enter a dungeon, apparently there are dungeons where your level is set back to level 5. I mean, not permanently or anything. Once you get out of that dungeon, your level should return to what it normally was, so you don't have to worry about that. Level reset dungeons are really difficult. <laughs> I've heard the good news. Keldeo and Hydrogen have joined your team, have they? Congratulations. Well, apparently Hydrogen has decided to leave for some reason. Uh, Simus here was voted least popular, most hated Pokemon of all time. Ouch. Well, apparently things are going on up here. <laughs> Morning, Locke. It's another fine day, isn't it? W what? Something wrong with me and Brizzy and spending some quality time together? W what do you want, huh? You got a problem with my face? I don't know if it's some kind of ESP or what, but when she's wound up like this, she's positively scary. That's my espion. <laughs> Those two, they do make quite the pair, don't they? Huh, I wonder where Hydrogen went. I also wonder if that means Dunsparce isn't available. Oh, hey, you. I guess for leveling up my dark moves. You'd think you'd be a... ba 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 Like a, uh, like a Zorark. ba boom ba boom 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 ba boom boom ba boom 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 Level up my moves. I do because a mocha traumatized me in the electric gym. Ha! Ah, shirts grew immensely. Morning, Locke. Post Town is a pretty nice town, huh? I'm sure that's why Verizian likes it too. Hmm. And I guess like even the uh, the kids. Can see is like, oh boy, Verizian is gonna get a man. Even though she's like five times his size. Yeah, Hydrogen. Well, let's see. Uh, b -b 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 reorder by level. So I can. Seems that I could still use Dunsparce. But come along, Keldeo. Join the team, since Hydrogen has decided to fuck off to realms unknown. Bad day. And you too can have power band. Taste the power. Yeah. Taste the power. The power of the power inside. The power inside. Hmm. It's only a two, hmm. Try to beat me, I'm a villain. Everyone is scared of me, it won't go against me. How about you? But I need to bring an ice type Pokemon, and I don't want to do that. Only one Pokemon, that's scary. So that's probably why some of these are difficult. Hmm. Because we can do a full five star. Hmm. Rusty Mountain, four. Extremely hard, but only four floor. Maybe the easiest mission? Rescue your mask. Why is the easiest one, like, a five... <laughs> huh. Is it true that Joltik's visiting? Tell me, tell me, please. But it's Rescue Joltik. I'm interested in trying Rusty Mountain because it's only four floors, even though it's that difficult. Hmm. 
I do have a lot of reviver seeds. Hmm. I guess I could maybe, like, uh, let's see. First off, let's see. Okay, so we have lots of reviver seeds. Uh, we should probably bring... Probably should bring a, an all dodge. Well, let's see. Uh, da 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 da. I'll bring two pure seeds and uh, an all dodge orb, and we'll try that hard, but with only four floor rusty mountain. Unless that's a lie, and it's actually far longer than what it is. No, it says just, uh, yeah, just a valuable treasure. It's, uh, restrictions none. It was another one down here, I think, that I was looking at. That's like, oh, you need to bring, yeah, it was down here, Silent Tundra, bring an ice one. But we're going a similarly leveled one, but no restrictions. The valuable treasure. And I have two pure seeds to warp me to the exit if things get super scary. Alright, kill him. Dragon Dance. And dual drop! So this is probably why it's, uh... Higher level. These guys hit like trucks, so good out. But if I get the drop on them, I'm the winner. It's been a bit since I've heard this song. I like this song. Ah, and an Orenberry. We haven't seen an Orenberry drop in a while. Well, that's just mean. My intimidation kills you! Ah, oh, we got the Reviver Seed and let's get out of here. So yeah, enemies just are a bit more tough in these ones. But it doesn't seem too terrible just yet. Unless the Mysteriosity hits. Aha, you're confused, idiot. Get blasted into oblivion by psychic power. Do enjoy the music. Dragon dance! I'm gonna dragon dance right in your face and then smack you hard! And then I got the all power orb. The orb of power is mine. For the power of power, I shall kill everyone in my way! Hey, an Eevee? Neat. Die. Why'd you get a critical hit, you bastard? What the fuck? It's a big blast trap. If a Pokemon steps on this trap, it's a big explosion will occur. Damaging all nearby Pokemon. Nearby items on the ground will be destroyed and disappear too. Oh, thank God that it just broke. And luckily, Reviver Seed activation. And nobody got experience because of that, that bastard recoil. So maybe the true danger isn't the Pokemon, but the traps we find along the way. For some reason, this music reminds me... Dragon Dance. 
Reminds me of, uh, Spiral the Dragon. That's just very mean, mister! I mean, I have a ton of Revive Seeds, but I don't want to waste them. All right, it's the unleveled form. You're a lot less scary than your old man. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. Let me guess the Mysteriosity activates now. Yep. It's gonna be bad for me, isn't it? Only one type of item appears. Which is money. <coughs> At least it couldn't happen on the floor where we actually need to find an item. Hopefully. Please stop, I dragon dance on your face. Yeah, you want to find him? You can find him. I cheer you on to murder that Eevee. If only I could have been Eevee. They have Eevee in the game, but they wouldn't let me choose him at the start. Sadness. particular box is. Well, that's very mean. Dragon Dance. I probably should have done that the first time, but well, schmiggity schmack. And I forgot that thing. Dang it. It's kind of annoying that the reset tiles also affect positive stats. Why the hell did one spawn in here? We were just in here, you bastarding game. Now the real question is, Umbreon, why didn't you do that move uh, back when I was fighting the big bastard man? That did a lot of damage to me. And for some reason, Keldeo went on his way to the left. Oh yeah, because he's probably blah blah blah. Let's just escape from this dungeon. So yeah, not too bad, but it's definitely the damage output of the enemies that's scary in there. Thanks for getting the particular box. I'll give you this as a reward. 800 Pokey. Rich soil. Spring water. Hail Orb, and 600 Paradise Points. Has reached Diamond! What's more, you've received a prize for raising the rank. Now you can build a new type of facility, Reviver Field. Now you can build a new type of facility, Vile Field. You can now build a facility, Ghost Dojo. You can now build the Steel Dojo. And you've got a Joy Seed, a Protein, and a Calcium, and a Dragon Gift. Give it to yourself, Locke. You deserve it. Ooh, save before waking up. This means typically story stuff because Hydrogen. Maybe. Oh, we're going home? Ah, Locke! Huh? Amolga? What's up? Hey, Locke, have you seen Hydrogen anywhere? Hydrogen? No, I haven't seen him. Why? You need him for something? Yeah, I had lunch with him at the inn yesterday. But he's such a big eater, you know? He ate so much we didn't have enough pokey to cover the bill. So we ended up having to ask Swana to put it on a tab for us. We said we'd get the pokey together and go to pay her back together, but... That sneaky Hydrogen, I can't find him anywhere in town. He can't really be... He's not gonna run out on pain, is he? What? Come on, I don't think he'd do something like that. 
But I got it. If I see Hydrogen, I'll let him know that you're looking for him. Thanks. I'm counting on you. I'll go look around some more, I guess. Where could he have gone? Seriously. After he kept going on and on about how much he loves Post Town and Paradise. It's all Dunsparce's fault. And then we stare at the empty bed. Have our daily dose of PTSD. Huh? Amolga? Morning. Did you ever find Hydrogen? No. I couldn't find any sign of him. I've searched every last corner of Post Town and Paradise and nothing! Seriously, where could he have gone? I look left and he's not there. That's true, huh? <laughs> I look right, he's nowhere in sight. It's true, no one to be found there. I'm finished. This right swan is never going to trust me again. And then I'll never get to eat her delicious food again. What? That would truly be a disaster. Hydrogen! When did you... There isn't any food more delicious than Signora Swanners in the whole wide world. To never be able to eat that heavenly fare again. Oh, poor Amolga. What? Are you serious? You... It's your fault, you thoughtless thing. Because of you, I can't show my face there. Huh? Did we or did we not agree to go back together to pay the bill? So where did you go off to, huh? You... Ah. Uh. Don't you ah uh, me. If Swana, she never lets me eat at the inn again. I'm gonna blame you forever! <laughs> I, I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to... I had to go because there was something I wanted to investigate. Investigate? Yes. Because of that, I just plain forgot about the bill we had left unpaid. So you did forget! Oh, I'm sorry! Forgive me! I'll go right this minute and pay the pokey back. Uh, could you call the whole team to the end, please? You want everyone to... D don't tell me! Are you planning on borrowing Pokey from everyone to pay for your bill? Of course not! I have something I want to tell everyone! To tell us? <laughs> Tilt head. <laughs> what? Neon could... There might be a way Neon could... Stay here in the Pokemon world? The and you only thought of it now because of Dunsparce? Yes. This is all hypothetical, but if Neon had stayed in this world, it would have created a distortion in the fabric of the universe. That's why it was decided that Neon's fate was to return to the human world. I myself believe that such facts were unchangeable, but it may be. Maybe fate can be changed after all. Really? Yes, Dunsparce. I was also shocked when I started looking into it. Oh, thank you for doing this. I really owe you one, Hydrogen. Huh? What do you mean, Dunsparce? I was the one who asked for Hydrogen's help. I had to know if there might be a way Neon could stay in this world. After all, it was Hydrogen who summoned Neon here in the first place. I thought if I asked him, he might be the one who could find a way. That is how it happened. And so when Dunsparce asked me to look into it, I left Post Town for a time. I had no intention of running out on a bill or anything of the kind. <laughs> Please take my word on that, Signora Swana. I am not the type of Pokemon to run out on a bill. Signora, if you forbid me to eat at the inn, I will... I will surely just... It's fine, Hydrogen. No need to say more. I never thought for a second that you boys would try to run out on your bill. What's more important is to hear about the rest of your discovery. Of course. Um, well, from the beginning... I had thought that a neon stain in this world would go against the laws of nature, that a return to the human world was inevitable. However, since coming here, I felt that those very laws of nature are changing. And the reason for those changes is this. It's because of all of you and your refusal to forget neon. This realization was a great shock to me. The strength of your feelings has, well, you've managed to override the laws that govern nature itself. This impossible thing, this unbelievable thing, is now happening because of you. This new view of a deeper truth made me hope we could change Neon's fate. And to be honest, I... I also wish to see Neon again. As I considered these possibilities, Dunsparce came to talk to me. And so I went away for a time. I needed to search out a safer way. To call Neon back to this world. 
I communicated with the voices of life from various lands. So there's more than just one voice of life? Huh. Are you gonna bring up the fact that other humans are existing right now? Is that what you're gonna do? At last, I arrived at a single possibility. A single possibility? Yes. Northwest of here, there lies a dungeon called the World Core. And in the deepest part of that dungeon, there is a place called the Hill of Universal Order. It is said that this is a place where you can gaze on the universe in its balanced state. When you stand on that hill, if you make some sort of wish, and if the universe's balance is not upset by that wish, then your wish will be accepted as eternal and binding, and it will become reality, so it is said. If the universe's balance is not upset, then your wish will come true? Of, of course, there has to be a strong enough desire behind a wish to make it come true. Just like when you all determined not to forget Neon. And only one Pokemon can go to make a wish at the Hill of Universal Order. You cannot all go to wish together, I'm afraid. Just one of us. So we have to pick a representative. One Pokemon to make the wish for everyone. If we have to pick the best person to go, clearly it would have to be... <laughs> Luck. I know. I suppose you'll all want me to go, huh? Of course! There's no way it could be anyone but you! But what if the closest ties to Neon? Surely that has to be you, Locke. What is it, Locke? Why don't you seem excited? You can tell us anything. We're all friends, right? Yeah. A long time ago, Neon and I made a promise. A promise to stay together forever. I really thought that was what I wanted back then, but it was only after Neon promised to stay with me that I realized. Neon must have friends and family in the human world as well, and if that's the case, then going back to the human world might be the best for Neon too. Neon is really important to me, and that's exactly why I gave up on that promise and said goodbye. Locke, being able to meet Neon again would make me happier than anything. But if Neon comes back to this world, it might not be possible to return to the human world a second time. Is that really what's best for Neon? I'm scared to answer that. Locke, you are a very kind soul. I understand very well what it is you mean. But what is or is not best for Neon, that is something that Neon knows better than you. I think this is a decision that has to be up to Neon, not you. Swana. I agree. And in addition to that, if you are worried about Neon's friends and family, here's what you could do when you reach the Hill of Order. Make your wish that Neon be able to travel freely between the two worlds. Oh, yeah, if I made a wish like that, if it was possible to travel freely between the human world and this one, but, do you think something like that is even possible? If you try wishing it and the universe doesn't lose its balance, then yes, you won't know the answer until you try. Then I guess you've gotta try. If you don't try, then you'll definitely won't succeed. Um, Locke, do you have any idea why Dunsparce came to ask me about this? It was because he wanted you to be happy again, Locke. What? Me? Ever since Neon left us, you haven't been the same. Since I figured if Neon came back, you might feel, well, you might be happy again. Dunsparce. Everyone has been worried about you, you know. Verizian. Hey, Locke. I really want you to be happy again, too. And I really want to see Neon again. I do as well. Me too. Count me in. I couldn't agree more. And me. Don't forget me. And I won't be left out either. Everyone. What are you going to do, Locke? How do you feel about all this? I, I, I want to see Neon again too. 
I really, really want to. I know what I've got to do. Thanks, everybody. I... I'm gonna do it. I'll go. I'll go for everyone. I'll go to the world core. Yes, Locke. Locke. Thank goodness. You can reach the world core from the crossroads. We'll all be counting on you. And while I won't be traveling with you, Locke, I will also go to the world core. Huh? How come, Hydrogen? Didn't you just say that only one Pokemon could go? I'm the voice of life, after all. That makes me a free agent. But I don't want to risk this chance by helping you in your battles. So until you reach the bottom of the dungeon, I'll let you make your own way through. Therefore, Locke, I will meet you within the world core. We shall meet at the Hill of Universal Order. I'll do whatever I can to support you. More than ever, we will do our best. Good luck, Locke. We'll all be wishing for your success. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best and hurry back home. And then everybody will get to see Neon again. I'll never give up. I actually really like that this game like takes into account like what if the the hero did like want to go and do that. All right, I think we'll finish the post game in a single stream. Neat. Unfortunately, I think I have to go take a math test now. So have fun, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me here. This is fun. We can reach the world core from the crossroads. I won't be battling with you, but I will travel the same path. Let's meet in the deepest part of the world core at the Hill of Universal Order. Don't worry. I have no doubt that you'll make your wish come true. Oh, and while you're here, do you want to read Dwebble's letters? Ah, uh, we already read them. Yeah, I really like that. That the game is thinking, like, wh what if the human wanted to, like, do like, again, does have people they care about in the human world? Because, like, in Rescue Team, their memories are just gone, so there's no need about that. In Explorers, the hero came from a future that no longer exists, so them coming back is the best circumstance, but this one, they were brought here to try and help, and while they didn't seem all that bothered to go home, about all that bothered staying, I mean, it is interesting that the, this partner cares so much about the hero that they're willing to sacrifice their own happiness for the hero. I'm sure you'll be fine. If anyone can do it, it's you. Go and do your best. The team can't get pumped up when you're always moping around, Locke. So we're counting on you. Get it done! To think that such a thing was even possible. I want to see Neon again. Locke, please, do your best out there. I never talked to Neon except to that one party, but... But I still felt like we really got each other, you know what I mean? I really like Neon. I hope we'll meet again. Do your best out there, Locke. It's because we both have anxiety. Give it your best effort, Locke. Out of any of us, I'm sure you're the only one who could. I want to see Neon again. I'm counting on you, Locke. But this is cool. Like, I, I really like the idea of the post-game centering on this. Hey, what was everybody talking about at the end, huh? Hey, is that hydrogen guy helpful at all? Nah, it's just that I, all I ever see him do is he. I don't feel like he ever does any work. I'm feeling like I haven't seen you with Dwebble lately. Where's he gone off to? I think Dwebble is saying something about how his home was crumbling. I wonder if he has found a new one. Smash this box! Smash this box! Smash this box for lots of locks! Another gold bar! Mmm, <laughs> this warm sun makes me sleepy. Well, since nobody else will be coming along with me. I 
definitely won't... Oh, I, I assume I won't need that many... Bobbit about orbs. And we might as well deposit all the money. We're not going to be needing it where we're going. And the strongest of us all, of course. After all, I'm surely stronger than Pan's here. No, no, no. I'm surely the strongest. I'm definitely stronger than Pan Poor. Who's the strongest of us three? I was asked that by someone. It's got to be me. I'm stronger than Pan Sage, after all. They're stuck in rock, paper, scissors land. Well, without... Oh, hey, it's you. It's been so long, Locke. It's me. It's Dwebble, am I right? Uh, I mean, goodness me. It's just, I have this great big new house. Yeah, I mean, goodness. I really am the real Dwebble. Crustle, that's enough. Where'd that voice come from? I'm sorry, Locke. I'm afraid that we've lied to you. The Pokemon that you see before you is none other, now none other than Clarussel, a dear friend that I met on my journey. It's coming from over there. Yes, it's true. The fact is that I, Dwebble, am hiding back here. But please don't try to find me. It's my appearance, you see. It is positively shameful. You see the new home that I found. In the end, it's not really any different from my old one. My journey took no time at all, and I have been in back in post time for ages already. But after I had made such a big deal of my transformation in my letter, I was so ashamed that I could not bear for you to see me looking the same as ever. And then before I knew it, there was all the fuss about the end of the world, and you were all going off to destroy the bitter cold. There just didn't seem to be the right moment to explain everything. Now that I think about it, I should have simply thrown away this foolish pride. I shall always regret that I threw away my chance to say goodbye to Neon. What? Neon? If I had just set aside my ridiculous pride for one moment, I think I could have recorded a message on that prism. <laughs> D Dwebble, you... You remember Neon too? Yes. Even as I hide myself away from view, I try desperately not to forget wonderful Neon. If that's true, I'm about to head off and see if I can't find a way for Neon to be able to come back to this world. You are? So just wait here, okay? If the day comes when Neon returns to this world, then you can say everything you want to say face to face. <laughs> Thank you. That's funny. I was partly wondering why he, like, was cutting away to different <laughs> overall words. Oh, we got three orange berries that time. I was going to train up my double chop, but I don't have any money because I put it all away. And I don't care to get out more. So we're just going to run. And see if we can bridge the gap of the universe. So let's do it. Apparently this is all all the post game is, I suppose. Which honestly, I find that nice. Nice world core. Sure. I have lots of reviver seeds. And it's only Mysteriosity 3. Huh, lava. Well, that's not good. Dragon! Well, then again, that's only my special attack. Haha, <laughs> you stupid ape. Die! I do not need such things. I will dive into the world core and bring Neon back. No time to waste. I was partly hoping that Hydrogen would reveal that he talked to other voices of life and was like, well, actually, there are humans that live in the Pokemon world every day. Although Palkia did confirm that there was a bit of distortion, it's not like it's the worst thing in the world. We gotta get swole. This is nice music. Dragon dance! 
walking alone makes that anime this sped up animation so much more funny. Improper grammar, maybe. And we're gonna have plenty of money for when Neon gets back too. We'll buy all the ice cream in the world. Face me, you cur! I have no time for your shenanigans. There is saving to do. So get out of here. We have a world to be even greater. Ah, shit. We wandered into a different... Well, nope. Apparently we wandered into a different version of the world core. Because of Mysteriosity. Okay. I guess it just means that we're gonna walk around a bit more than usual. Dragon Dance. And do a chop us! <laughs> I'm gonna give this cute box to Neon when he gets back. Well, that's just mean. Hehe. <laughs> ho ho! Hehe. <laughs> Ho ho! Face me, cur! You have a ranged attack, perhaps, but you cannot match my might in hand to hand combat. I wonder if I just can't step on that lava or if I have to actively avoid it. Because I have been, like, meaning not to test that. <laughs> Nah, great. Mysteriosity is hitting. All enemies are sleeping! And enemies are stronger, so... Don't walk into their radius and I should be good. Also, I just realized I'm alone, so no team attacking in case of monster houses. Gotta be super careful. I really do enjoy the music. But I do like that the game is kind of making the characters and even the player earn the return of the the main character, the player character. It's such a cool concept. And I think it definitely fits, because, like... Rescue Team's return makes sense because Rescue Team is a very simple game, and that's a part of its charm. Explorers makes sense because, well, how else are you going to return somebody who's uh, uh, basically a paradox? Prepare to die. Well, that's just me. I said prepare to die. Let's just keep going. You can spit me out at any... Well, that's just mean. Dragon Dance! And Assurance! Ah, shit. Luckily, Dragon Dance can get me out of its range... ...a bit. At least that exists. Man. A summon trap. An enemy Pokemon will appear close to the Pokemon that steps on this trap. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. I can just do this. Dragon Dance. <laughs> See ya, suckers. Can I be spat out back into the normal dungeon? Please. Or did Mysteriosity break the dungeon? <laughs> Do a chopper! <laughs> I 
This game has like the highest emotional peaks in the franchise for me. It is so far very good, Al. Dragon Pants. <laughs> you are in the normal dungeon. Doesn't feel like it because initially, like, uh, Because initially, it said basement one, and then we got hit with the, like, you've been thrown somewhere else. So. The, the lack of floor stuff. Can I please stop being confused, game? Can I please actually play the fucking game? Okay, finally. You're a motherfucker game. At least that the second time happened again. I'm just gonna keep running away. Fuck off with your confusion, assholes. I don't wanna deal with you. Now I can just... I'm sorry, but that's bullshit. You should not be able to hit that many times in a row, you asshole. Luckily, I have orange berries. You bitch. God damn you. That's such a bullshit effect, I swear. Because now I have to run away. Because confusion takes five million years to go away. He wanted to play the game game. Ah, it doesn't do as much damage as I thought it might. Can I go someplace in this damn dungeon? Fine, I'm just gonna run away. Quit wasting my time, you asshole. Oh, hey, the bitch. At least a version of the bitch. Be gone, Satan. Die. Man, I it's just like it's such an interesting idea to make like the characters and player earn the return. It's a nice break from series convention after three games. So like, hey, you know what? <laughs> what if we make it look like we commit to the player actually being gone? Which is genuinely hilarious. Focus all your energy you want. I'm gone. Oh, great. Another mysterious distortion. Oh, nice. Not so nice. At least you're weaker, so you should be able to just die. And I'm going to immediately om nom on a max elixir. I gotta use Dragon Dance to get, like, the first hit in on every enemy that I can down on this floor. And then I immediately... Huh, did revenge. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> Uses revenge. I just walk away. <laughs> Interesting, though, that a lot of Muna's gang seem to have, like... Evolutions down here. Even Muna herself. All that's missing, I think, is Gigalim. Because I think we ran into an exit drill down here. Did we? My memory is that bad.
God, I hope I don't run into a monster house. Dual chop. We'll have so much money for when Neon returns. And now we've returned to the normal dungeon. That was like 10 floors of that not dungeon. Even though it was still this dungeon. I guess it was like a safety precaution where any distortions that take you to another dungeon get overridden and just take you to a clone of the world core so that you still experience the world core as a dungeon all the way through even if Mysteriosity gets in the way. Which is very smart of them. But I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew that the game was leading me on. I'm a smart cookie just like Locke is. Second half. I've come pretty far down. Ah, it's almost too faint to notice, but I think I can see some sort of light ahead. I better go check it out. Yes, I would. Hmm. Quick question. How long do you usually take to upload VODs? I've never actually seen a full play of Gates and liked your voices, so I want to catch up on your live reactions I missed. Uh... Since I, like, uh, did a few streams before I started uploading, like, my VODs during my, uh, when I began my regular schedule, um, I believe that I am currently three streams ahead, and I upload one, and, like, I schedule uploads of the VODs every two days. So, technically, I should run out of VODs eventually, because I upload, like, on a slightly faster scale than I stream, since I take, like, a two-day break for the, uh, like, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I don't know. But, oh, hey, we're just here. I thought we were going to have to fight more. This is... Could it be? Have I finally made it to the Hill of Universal Order? What? It's a sheer cliff? Whoa. It's so dark down there, I can't see a thing. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get anywhere that way. Whoa. Amazing! This is... There are hundreds of little lights sparkling on the cave ceiling. Beautiful. They're just like stars. Who would believe that there's a place like this so deep underground? It sure is a mysterious feeling. It really is a beautiful place, isn't it? This would be like the perfect point for Hydrogen to just go, Actually, I've been evil this entire time, and I'm going to push you off this cliff. That would be hilarious. I was surprised, too. Hydrogen. You wonder at first why anyone would call an underground place a hill, don't you? Then you stand on the edge of that cliff, and when you look up, it's just as if you're standing atop a hill somewhere, looking up at the stars that fill the clear night sky. They say that's the reason why it's called the Hill of Universal Order. So then, this really is? It is. You are standing without a doubt on the Hill of Universal Order. So, Locke, it is time for your wish. I know I said goodbye, but the truth is, when all's said and done, I really want to see Neon. I know I'm not the only one. We all feel the same. The simple fact is this. We need Neon here with us. None of us can forget Neon. If this world could just allow Neon to be part of it, if Neon could somehow travel freely between this world and the human world, then that's all I'd ever ask for. So, please, please, hear my wish!
Oh. And then the stars are going out. That's unsettling. Is this bad? Uh, Hydrogen! What's happening? The strain is too much. Space is being distorted. I'm afraid that the balance of the universe is beginning to falter. Oh no, the balance! As I suspected, it looks as though Neon can't be in this world without upsetting the laws of nature. This distortion shouldn't be big enough to affect the whole Pokemon world, but it will swallow up the hill of universal order. Although in the distant future, it seems that it will shape itself anew. To be quite specific, this whole cave is about to collapse. What? That means my wish. The wish of the true hope. It, it wasn't enough to overcome the laws of nature. I'm so sorry. It appears that way. We failed. And there's a strong possibility that we ourselves will be swallowed up by this distortion. But if we stop now, if we give up and run, we still might be able to escape it. There might be enough time if we go now. We have to run for it, Locke. But if this place disappears, it won't appear again for years and years, right? We won't be able to come back here and try again until that happens, right? No! I won't give up on wishing! Not even if I disappear too! I still... I still can't forget Neon! I still want us to be together! That's very good to hear, Locke. Your determination is exactly what is needed! What? Now there's just one more thing. Another theory I've been holding on to. If my hunch is correct, then, the truth lock is that I... I felt Neon's presence a few days ago. What? It just may be. Somewhere in the human world, Neon might be watching us right now. Well, Neon is... watching us? Right now? Yes. Neon... You can hear me, can't you? We must know your feelings about all this, Neon. You've been watching us all this time, haven't you? You've been able to observe everyone in Post Town and Paradise. And you've seen just how much they care about you. Haven't you, Neon? How did that make you feel? What do you want to do about it? Because if your wish is strong enough, I'm sure that... I... I want... Do you want to return to the Pokemon world? Hell yes, and how dare you give me the option to say no after all of that. I wanna go back! I, of course, I want, I want to go back! I wanna go back to the Pokemon world where everyone is waiting for me, where Locke is waiting for me. I wanna go back to that world. And the motif again. Welcome home, Neon. I'm back. Da, da, da. I'm home, Luck. Thank you. I got teary eyed again. That line, I'm home, is just. Unbelievably sweet. The next morning. Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today.
Neon, let's give it our all from now on. Neon is... Neon's right here. Beside me. Now it really is paradise again. Welcome home, Neon. I'm really, really glad we got to meet again, you know. I'm looking forward to even more adventures together from now on. Morning, Neon. I joined the True Hope while you were away. Did you know that? Hope you don't mind. I love that. Either the no option would have been like, but thou must, or it would have just been the meanest thing. The meanest thing in the world. Just like, Jesus Christ. The idea of like, everyone's like, we want them to come home. Luck goes through all that. Makes a wish, and even in the face of death, is like, no, I am going to pull through. I am going to keep wishing. And there's the option to say no. I hate it. Ba 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 ba. But I love it. I love this game. I wish that there was a little bit more there. Who knows? Maybe there is a little bit more. I'm not sure how deep the post game goes. We'll have to see. We might do one or two adventures, see if anything crops up. So we'll write a hurt comfort hurt fanfic that does that. <laughs> that would be just so unbelievably cruel. Hmm? 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 You, you really, you really are. Neon, hmm? <laughs> Boom! I never thought we'd meet again. Mm -hmm. But I... I can't just keep crying all day. I'd better put a smile on my face. Mm -hmm. Neon, welcome home. <laughs> Say no is so cruel exactly. <laughs> but that's just... I do enjoy the fact that there's the option, but I am never going to click it. Never in my life. I refuse. Also, I love the fact that it's implied that, like, I came back and we just immediately went home and went to bed. We fucked all night. And then, like, nobody knows. The loser! You came back? Whatever. I was so happy that you were gone, you know. I was finally rid of you, and now you're back. <laughs> Such a loser. You really are, you know. Well, if you're gonna bother coming back, stick around forever this time. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to see you again, but then the player's like, no, that's like the meanest thing you could do. <laughs> Due to who you call the true friend. That's like saying the friendship this whole time was a lie. <laughs> like, that would be so emotionally in exhausting. I just couldn't sleep too. Exactly. Neon! Is that really you, Neon? So you came back to our world now. <laughs> it's great. It's really great, you know. Sorry, just give me a moment here to cry. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Huh? Neon? Long time no see! Made it back, huh? <laughs> of course, Victini takes it the, the best. Fee wheel! We have to go and say hi to everybody. Shock everybody with my return. Ah, Neon! What a shock! What is it? What? You're back? You're back! No way! What a happy day! I get to take your pokey again, Neon! Nothing could make me happier. Weird line, but... <laughs> kind of nice. 
Neon is back! Welcome back, Neon! Jeepers! You really are Neon, aren't you? Welcome back, Neon! I just had an idea. That, like, if... If there was, like, a fanfic that expanded... Like, basically a fanfic novelization of Great Gates to Infinity. What if there was, like, a shapeshifter? Like a ditto that pretended to be Neon come back. Just to twist the knife for people. Welcome home, Neon. Being able to see your smiling face again, it makes me so glad. Welcome. It's been quite a while, Neon. So you've come back to us, have you? I'm also very happy to have you back. <laughs> I get to take your pokey, Neon. <laughs> I guess Kecleon is a merchant. It's how they, it's how they, like, show affection. Taking your money is, like, the greatest thing for them. Hmm? Where are you from, stranger? I feel like I've seen your face before. What? If it ain't Neon! How could I have forgotten you, silly old fat I am? Ugh, this is dangerous. Man was so full of her that I nearly forgot all about Neon. That was a close one. I like that it's implied that it isn't because of, like, ooh, the forgetting thing, but just, like, he was so caught up in her that he didn't even... <laughs> he's just... His mind was elsewhere. Welcome back, Neon. What do you think of our world now that you've been away a while? Do your best to help Paradise grow. Huh. Also, I think of the three, this is the only game that is actually a self-insert. Rescue was a human's guy's a human from the future. This one was just like, they literally imply hydrogen. And, and since past the screen, it's you. That is true. That since a hydrogen kind of locks onto the screen, and the fact that you get to choose if you go back or not, apparently, it is the closest thing to a self insert so far. Welcome back, Neon. Glad to be working together again. Whoa! Welcome back, Neon! I'm so happy, dude! Like, whoa! N Neon? Why, how have you been able to return to our world? This is astounding! Absolutely wonderful! I was beginning to fear that you might not come back. What? You don't know why I would think something like that? Well, that's... I'm afraid that I thought you might not... Well, that you might not care what happens to our world any longer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome back, Neon. It's been so long. How nostalgic is this? Please sit down and relax. Tis amazing, is it not? Toi folk who spend so much time together. Such a naturally drawn back together. All to meet again. Looking at the Perrier. I, I cannot help thinking the that way. Bless ye. Twas mighty bra ye to come back. It was mighty proud of you to come back. <laughs> I'm so glad Neon has been doing well. It's wonderful to see you again. What a happy day. I finally got to see you again, Neon. We're like a local celebrity. Neon, so you made it back, huh? Thank goodness. I'll be glad to see you around. <laughs> PMD in real life. A lot of people would wish for that, even amongst the horrors. So many people are like, yeah, I'd take the bitter cold. Neon? Neon, you... Uh... Oh, you. So you really were able to come back, back to our world. When I look back, I realize that my attitude towards you is always pretty bad. Well, be bugging me anyway, so I figured I should apologize. But when I wanted to apologize, you were already gone. So, just let me apologize now, for everything. I'm glad I finally got to say it. <laughs> I totally mean it. Yes, you there, you are my customer, yes indeed. Neon! So you've come back at last. <laughs> Did you happen to bring me any glorious gold bars from your little human world? I would pay a glorious amount for that. <laughs> I have to peek the mic every single time I speak as Confagrius. It is the only way. But I also gotta say, 
that I do enjoy that, like, the final test to bring back the player character was the partner literally putting their life on the line again to defy fate so intensely. They were like, even if I have to die, I will stay here trying my hardest to make this work. And I think that is great. The sudden urge to write a fanfic explaining the months the hero was missing, if only to make the comeback the more glorious. That's kind of what I want to do with Explorers. I want to make, like, a series of shorts, maybe, exploring the, like, the months. And, like, I want to create a, maybe, like, a series of shorts exploring, like, how the partner and hero of Explorers interacted with the guild. Like, in from that one special episode... It was implied that, ooh, at some point the the partner or the hero and partner hang out with the guild members for just a f night of fun, and I like I want to see those moments. I want to see all the moments. I want to explore like that implied time that is meant to like take place around like the the post game and stuff, and just like explore the more slice of life aspects. Ah, <gasps> neon. So you've come back at last! I'm so glad you are alright. It is a joy seeing you again like this. Whoa, Neon! You could have knocked me over with a feather! You're back! That's great! Glad to see you again, Neon! This is the best! Seriously! Oh! Whoa! Did you tell me you took the run out back to our world, you lug? So you can waltz back and forth between your world and this one, huh? Sounds pretty sweet, but I ain't jealous of nothing. I sure ain't jealous, but it's good news, kid. It sure is that I ain't lying. Neon. Neon who treated me just like anyone else, even though I'm sort of filthy. That, that made me so happy, Trup Trup. But I didn't recognize the happiness for what it was worth until you were gone, Neon, Trup Trup. And when you were gone... Oh, that made me so sad, Trup Trup. I'm so glad you're back. Welcome home, Neon. I hope you'll help us with our requests again. Hey, Neon, you're back. Man, it feels like it's been so long. But you know, now that you're back, you're gonna have to work real hard. I'm expecting you to make up for your cushy vacation in the human world, got it? You better be ready. So you've made it back from the beyond, thank goodness. Neon, you are still a hero to all who live here, after all. Everyone is indeed thrilled by the news, as am I, of course. What? You mean you didn't hear about it from Locke? That I'm a full-fledged member of the True Hope? No! You aren't going to say that I can't join or anything, are you? It's so comfortable here, and the food is so good. I plan to stick around for quite a while, you know. No matter what you know. <laughs> I like this. This is great. Even if this game felt shorter. And I don't even know if that's like all there is to the post game. It feels like that is the definitive end. And then it's just like, ooh, exploring however you want. But I like it. It's super good. gonna quickly look up a guide to see if that's all there is. Well, one of the coolest facts about this game is that the player, al uh, albeit don't really understand the logic, can travel to and from the Pokemon world into the human world. That is cool. That's a cool little detail. I do believe that that might just be it. I think. Do, do, do. I love this. This is this is a great game.
apparently there's like a filler day, so just a little bit more, but seems like the main, main plot stuff is done, but we'll go do a filler day. With the old team back again. Well, this is great. Really, really great. I love it. Da 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 But this is a very fun game. A very fun game. Of course, we'll bring Espeon and Umbreon along. But yeah. Even though this one, like, might not have had as much, like... Blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to think of the words. Oh, yeah, confirm. So I'm gonna get out of the menu. Yeah, it's definitely better than Rescue Team overall. I still don't know what that final little piece is, like, the middle. Unless that's just literally meant to be for the... Like, uh... The team attack button went in dungeons or something. I don't know. Yeah, this is, this is great. Yeah, we'll just quickly do this. See if anything happens. Because, like, again, my only complaint is that there isn't more story, more character moments. And that's basically it. Oh, hey, it's been a bit. We haven't been here in a while. I do like that we're coming from the opposite side, though. We're here to annihilate these small children. Ba -ba -da -ba. It's just wonderful. The music, the graphics, the story, the characters, it was all really, really good. And the only reason why Explorers still stays at the top for me is like a weird intensity to like uh, of like the the main characters and plot it isn't even really like uh that they're better it's just like with the hero the partner wigglytuff like grovile dusk noir just hits different but at the same time, the GTI crew also hit different. So I think that might be it. It might not be that I think that Explorers is inherently better than Gates to Infinity. It's just that they're both very good in their own way. really, really enjoy it. I'm really, really glad that I played this game. It's just a very fun experience. I honestly would not mind if, like, Gates to Infinity got, like, uh, remastered, similar to how they're, uh, I think Capcom is remastering, what is it, uh, buh, buh, buh. Monster Hunter Stories 1, which was a 3DS game. We would be neat if more good 3DS games got a second life. Also, the sun urge to explore the possibility that since it might be literally the player as the hero, then we could write them literally as just a player interfacing with the Pokemon world through their 3DS, slowly becoming invested and eventually in the last scene, bringing out was real and choosing to live in the Pokemon world. That would actually be interesting. Like, from a meta kind of way. You could, like, uh, we might need to write around the wonkiness of, like, how the player can, like, actually emote and talk. Well, I guess the 3DS has a microphone. 
and like the dedicated, oh, you just kind of like nod your head and mention things the player could actually be so invested in the story that they say all the things like they say the things that they do like canonically. Oh, that's cool. That actually tells you that this is the goal floor to remind you. But that would actually be super, super cool. Like, as a concept for a Mystery Dungeon fanfic. I think that's a really cool idea. You know, like, the player just think they're playing a game and get super attached to the characters. And then, like, the post-game... Like, it would be interesting to be like, uh, if the player saw the ending, the characters saying goodbye, and then they see the continue, and like, and they assume that it would just boot them back to how Paradise was before the end of the game, so they can continue doing requests and stuff. Only, they can't play the game. The game is following Locke. They're not controlling anything. And then Hydrogen looks into the camera and they're wondering, like, what's going on? And then they... get asked... That, that's a, such a cool idea. Would love it. So that'd be a very cool way to, like, frame the story. Notice! Neon and Locke are now able to evolve! And how are we aware of this? Morning, Neon. Let's give it our all again today. I guess that is just it. <laughs> Notice you're able to evolve now. And how do we do that? Would be funny if that actually opened up. Well, I do believe that that is it, it. That does seem to be everything. All the challenge dungeons. Seems to be it. Hmm. Like, remember how the game always has the hero's dialogue in brackets? Well, the hero's dialogue isn't always in brackets. Their thoughts are in brackets. But this game actually has the player character talk a lot in, without brackets in this one. My interpretation is that the game allows for anyone to put their own words into the dialogue. That makes the concept of talking to the mic like the way you are voice acting much cooler, though. <laughs> super, super cool. I do believe that that is it for- oh, I guess I wandered around so long he went to sleep. <laughs> Let's do anything. It'll be great as long as we're together, Neon. This is sweet. So yeah, I do believe that that is it. The guide that I looked at doesn't seem to have anything else. <laughs> Gotta go, by the way, I'd love to see New Gates and Joyer be born. It is a very good game. I honestly can't even truly say that Explorers is better. It is just down to personal preference. Because to me, there's just something about the story that Explorers tells. I think it's in like the pacing and the presentation. Something just makes the overall experience of Explorers click a little bit more for me. But this probably is the most solid, like, Mystery Dungeon game I've played. Gameplay-wise, it's the best. Story and character are great. Again, if it's just that, if it wasn't just for that one little thing, where I think the journey in Explorers is a bit better. Like, the expedition with the Wigglytuff Guild. And all those cool moments 
and the cool graphics. Or like the pixel art double screen things. Overall, yeah, I think it's overall the journey of Explorers feels a bit better. The journey feels just a little bit more solid to me. But the story of this one, I think, is slightly better overall because it's character driven. Slightly more character driven. And it's just done in such a cool way. They take advantage of the 3D environments and characters for cutscenes, which is super cool. I do wish that they went a little bit harder on the theming of, like, nihilism versus optimism and holding out hope in the face of, well, hopelessness. Just ever so slightly. And I think if the story was allowed to be a little bit longer, like, if this game got an update and they, like, had all the base stuff and were just allowed to make more story, I think you could do cool things. There's definitely, like, room for expansion, which I would would have liked to see. But, like, the emotions are... I think that's also another thing. I feel like the emotions are more solid throughout this game compared to Rescue Team and Explorers. Because, again, we got to see a few more of those, like, slice-of-life moments in this game. Which is what I wanted out of Explorers in hindsight. We got to see the characters interact and just... I love it. It's super cool. This game is great. And the changes they made to the gameplay, I think, are solid. Leveling up moves is great. And yeah, them getting rid of the basic attack in later games makes sense because it serves no purpose except to not use, like, Thrash if you run out of power points. Which, depending on, like, the balancing and spread of max elixirs, could do that. Already, without the basic attack. It's very, very cool. I do think that, like, the gold exchange is a little wonky and clunky in terms of selection, but it depends on what you want out of it. And again, like, the lack of being able to do multiple missions in a single dungeon is kind of unfortunate. But considering what, the, of like, the extra stuff they added on top, the Mysteriosity in the post-game, the fact of, like, uh, the requests are tied into, like, uh, upgrading Paradise, it makes sense why you're limited to only one a day. Leveling up the Paradise score also felt a bit easier compared to other games, but I never really grinded that. But yeah. Overall, the three big tenants are hitting this game. The gameplay is solid, the characters are solid, and the story is solid. Aside from only being able to take one mission at a time, which at least has balance reasons for it, literally my only complaint is I want more story. I want more of these characters. I want more tangible story-led adventures. Um, man, imagine if they released, like, a DLC expansion. A story expansion. That would be cool. Like, imagine if they ever make another new Mystery Dungeon game. Again, I am holding out hope that next year, the 20th anniversary, there will be a new Mystery Dungeon game. Wouldn't it be cool if they also embraced the DLC style of newer Pokemon games and you get, like, get a more fleshed out DLC driven post game with more story, character, and stuff? I think that would be cool. But as for this game, I think it's really, really nice. And I'm very happy I gave it a shot. Because I remember hearing, like, vague, negative things about it years and years ago. But actually playing it? Again, it is knocking on Explorer's door, if not just home invading. The top spot for me. 
while I don't think it had like a musical motif that hit as hard as Time Gear, the music was still so good in this game. The music is good, the gameplay is good, the story is good, but also it helps that like the characters are what drive this. Which of course you could say that like the characters kind of always drive them, but in a way not really like in Rescue Team, it's not so much the characters that drive things, but the emotions. Everything is simple in Rescue Team. So having it all be simple, but emphasizing like the emotions of things, like even though you can't get as invested in the characters, because they're much more simple, much more like vague, I guess, there is a charm to that simplicity. And that, like, the simplicity allows for the emotions to still kind of thrive. Which I do, do, do enjoy. But here, they definitely went hard on the characters. And, like, gave them a lot of focus, which I just really, really like. It's very, very cool. And I can't wait to play Super Mystery Dungeon. Hmm. I might take a break because I want to, like, draw up art for, like, the finale thumbnail for the VOD upload of uh, GTI. Or, like, the, the main story. Like, uh, finale. So, I guess not the, the uplo VOD upload of this, this VOD, but the VOD upload of last time, the last story. As well as I also, Brain also wants to draw up special art for the next game that I will be playing, or should I say, games. Because we are going to take a break from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon so I don't get burnout jumping directly into Super. But I also don't really feel super, super wanting to jump into another Pokemon game like Black and White. We are going to do Black and White eventually, but uh, I'm going to hold off on that for now. But I have selected a series of smaller games that should take no more than three streams each usually to beat mainly. Maybe an extra stream if I want to complete them because they are simple games. But we are going to play through a bunch of Spyro games going forward. A bunch of Spyro games that I've never played before except for one. Uh, we won't be going through the, the Reignited Trilogy, sadly, because I've streamed the Reignited Trilogy a few years ago, and it's still, like, fresh in my mind. And Spyro is a very simple game, so I can't really, like, stay away from it and go back in and re-experience it, sadly. We might stream Reignited someday, but I'm gonna jump into games that I have never played before, and ga one game that I had played, but it's a long, long time ago. First off, we're probably going to jump into, I believe it is, Enter the Dragonfly, which is a... We're going to have to start off with the bad games, because they are two Spyro games that I never played. They were the two Spyro games that were made not by Insomniac back when they did... I do believe they were Insomniac, I believe. Brain is bleh. Yeah, I do believe it was Insomniac. Brain is bleh. But yeah. After the first three Spyro games, Insomniac left to do their own thing, but sadly had to leave Spyro at the door, owned by Universal, I think? And uh, so a few other devs got a whack at Spyro, with two of the games being Enter the Dragonfly and uh, A Hero's Tale, which I've heard nothing but bad things about Enter the Dragonfly, and I have heard that some people enjoy A Hero's Tale, but I also saw the Metacritic score for that, and it's bad. But then again, we're also going to be playing The Legend of Spyro Trilogy, which also has poor review scores, it seems. But the first Legend of Spyro game is one that I played a long, long time ago and greatly enjoyed, even if it completely changed up the formula and story and stuff. But hey, it has Elijah Wood voicing Spyro, and I think that's neat. But we will talk about more Spyro when we actually get to things, so... Wednesday might be a day off as I try to get things ready and get go. Maybe try to do more art and writing. But, uh... It all depends. All depends, but... Yeah, I'm gonna try and 
get it so it'll, who knows maybe I'll have things ready by Wednesday and we'll begin the Spyro marathon but could be a day off could might not could not be who knows but yeah I really enjoyed Gates to Infinity I don't know exactly why it's called Gates to Infinity because there is like Magna Gates and I I guess we have the power infinity because we can go back and forth between the worlds. The, I feel like the Magna Gates are a little underplayed in this game. I feel like they could have been made more core to the story, but who knows. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this game. I really, really enjoyed it. And I very, very, very much loved playing through it on stream. It is just a fantastic experience. And I cannot wait to play more Super, more Mystery Dungeon with Super, but we are going to let that rest so we can go into Super Mystery Dungeon and have a super duper good old time. So yeah, next time we stream might be Saturday at 5 instead of Wednesday at 5 Central. Again, depends on how I'm feeling, if I have everything ready. Maybe I might just jump in without the art, because really I only want the art to be super ready with The Legend of Spyro because those are like the games that I think are more cult classic-y than Enter the Dragonfly and uh, Hero's Tale. But because I'm going to be drawing my little character in the corner as a dragon. Of course, not as a PNG tuber, because that would take so fucking long. But uh, at least for the thumbnails, at the very least. But yeah, I do believe that is it. GTI was fantastic. I am glad I gave it a shot. Again... Only reason it's not bashing down Explorers from the top spot is because Explorers just has a special place in my heart. The character, the main characters, the special episodes, and the emotional core of the story of Explorers is really, really good. Even though, like, this one is also fantastic. It is purely preference why Explorers is top spot still. But yes... Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, all that I do can be found in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings, or a direct link to my link tree through any, like, description, bio, or link places. It can be found. In there is links to my edited content YouTube channel. I swear, edited content's coming at some point. I just need to wrangle my brain. As well as my art. Oh, wait, no, I jumped ahead. My streaming as well, Twitch on Twitch and YouTube, as well as all the VODs of the streams that I do find, can be found on the streaming YouTube channel of all the games that I've played in the past, like Undertale, the other Mystery Dungeon games up till now, the Mass Effect trilogy, and more can all be found there. And then if you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little character in the corner, I upload to various different sites. All links can be found on my link tree, like DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Tumblr, and uh, Blue Sky. Tons of places I upload. And I also do writing. I actually finished a chapter yesterday for, to my 11-chapter uh, Mystery Dungeon short fanfic. It's not a series of shorts, it is a short fanfic with 11 chapters, of which I have finished with chapter 5. I still have to proofread all the chapters eventually, but once I have all the chapters up and ready, I'll begin uploading them. So check it out. <laughs> up to two sites linked to my link tree. And finally, my Patreon, also in my link tree. I treat it as just a little donation box, so if you're feeling extra kind and, and are affluent enough to throw a dollar do my way, well, you can. But, yes... Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.